everybody, welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. As for me, I'm going to make a little visit to the doctor because, as always, when I go on my adventures, I always like to bring something home with me. The last time I brought a parasite. Well, today I've got a kind of gnarly rash on my arm that I'm not really sure. It kept me up all night long, itching like crazy. I have a feeling that I picked it up when I was in the bat cave. Maybe there's something... I don't know, maybe it's like some kind of worm or I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna go to the doctor because it itches more than I've ever itched in my entire life. So I was walking around in two feet of bat poop with uh, cuts on the bottom of my feet barefooted, so that's probably not a really good thing either. I am off to the doctor, then I come back and I'm gonna feed colubrid snakes a little bit later in the day and see what else is going on. Also, uh, you guys sent me a bunch of stuff in the mail, so I'm gonna do a little mail time later on. What do you say we get this day started? So the good news is I'm gonna live. The bad news is is that I have to take a whole bunch of different things. I got a steroid shot, I have to take some steroid pills, and I got a steroid cream because it's probably just some plant-based rash thing, which is great because I was a little worried about it being some kind of a worm that I maybe contracted in the bat cave, or I did get a little bit of a, a rough up with a, a little wild feral cat that I was messing with. So I thought, man, is there a chance I could have something that I contracted from an animal? So plant-based doesn't bother me as much. I uh, just have to take some medication, put some cream on it. Within a few days, I will be fine. So I am back to the shop to feed colubrid snakes. Okay, so first things first, we've got to get some rodents in thaw before I can feed the colubrids. Just got a shipment of rodents in, so I've got to just open them up and get them in some warm water. So it takes about an hour for these rodents to completely thaw and we'll usually warm them up once or twice during the process. Because we use lukewarm water, the water is going to get cold because the mice are actually really frozen and then you have to warm it up or they'll never thaw out properly. So i uh, got about an hour to do a little bit of catching up on emails and a few other things and then we'll come back and we'll get ready to feed. While I'm waiting for rodents to thaw, I'm going to go ahead and pull a ball python clutch. Uh, we only had one ball python clutch today, but it was a pretty cool one. It's actually a motley bee a banana motley bee, this male here, bred to a genetic stripe. Now, a motley bee is actually a spider genetic stripe, and of course that's a banana, and this was bred to a genetic stripe female, you can see right here. So, it looks like she has, you can see right there, She's not all that happy, but she looks like she has a really beautiful clutch of eggs. So what I can produce from this clutch is actually genetic stripes and motley bees, as well as banana genetic stripes and banana motley bees. So it's a pretty cool clutch. And here we go. She does not look happy at all. Come on, little girl. Let go. Oh, you see that one egg? Oh, this is a beautiful clutch. Take a look at that. There's two, four, six, eight eggs. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and get these eggs in the box here. Just like always, I'm sure the eggs are stuck to the bottom a little bit. Not too bad. The hardest part about this is doing it with one hand. Oh, that's dangerous. I'm gonna to have to separate these eggs out just a little bit so I don't drop them. There it is, two, four, six, eight. Beautiful eggs, I mean that is absolutely a great clutch of eggs. What a beautiful girl. Good job, mama. Uh, you know, I always feel a little bit bad taking the eggs away because they have a maternal instinct. And some people have asked, like, why would I take eggs away? The truth is, is that there's two reasons. Number one, I feel you can really keep track a little more when you're artificially incubating. Let's say one egg goes bad, you can actually remove that egg. And a lot of people, myself included, feel like a bad egg can sometimes taint a good egg. So as it's rotting, it can actually make a good egg go bad. So that's one thing. The other thing is, is that these females will literally stay around the eggs for, you know, the entire two months of incubation. Well, that's a lot of energy. They won't eat. They'll just come off to drink water. So once I pull them off, what we'll do is literally clean the cage, even wash the snake off, and that female will typically start feeding within a week or 10 days. So that means I have two additional months of feeding and conditioner so she'll produce again next year. So for me, it makes complete sense to pull the eggs. I think it's better for the clutch and it's certainly better for the female. Melton. 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 
Okay guys, a little session of mail time for you all. We're gonna open up a few different things. Uh, I got all kinds of stuff from you guys when I was gone. You guys are awesome. You always make me feel so good. But uh, this one's interesting because it's real puffy. I, I mean, I, you guys see that? I don't know what this is. This one is from Lydia. And I'm gonna open this up and see what it is. What is it? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Lori, look at it's a beanie. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little. It's a little beanie baby. It looks like a. Tusk a, the walrus. It's Tusk the walrus oh my beanie God, this baby. Is old school here. Oh my gosh, that is awesome, Lydia. Oh my, what? There's a dollar in here too. Shh. Lydia, why would you? Why'd you send? I'm gonna read this. Uh, let's see. This says, "Dangerous rattles, oh. rattlesnake eggs." <laughs> So there's open a, it. Okay, so there's a. What, I gotta open this? Yeah. Okay, what do you do? This is rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that? I, I literally, I literally got it. Oh my gosh, Lydia, that is awesome. I swear to gosh, that freaked me out. Uh, so I wanted to figure out why you gave me a dollar here, Lydia. Uh, it says, Brian, love your videos. They're so cool. I love snakes. I watch your videos every day. I learn a lot. I so sent you a dollar. <laughs> I, don't, I still don't understand why you sent me a dollar, but I appreciate it. I mean, see that, Lori? I can, I'm one dollar closer to retirement nice. now. Thank you, Lydia, for uh, Tusk, the, <laughs> scaring the hell out of me with the rattlesnake uh, eggs and, uh, and this awesome thing. So you're, you're awesome, Lydia. Thank you so much. Uh, Okay, so what we have here is uh, an envelope. I don't know what this is. Mine. Oh, this is oh, this is Lori. Did Lori's. you read the name? It said my name on oh, it. Oh, it says to Lori B H V. So let's let's let me. You want me to open it? No, <laughs> you're the worst. <laughs> All right, so it's great that you guys are sending stuff to Lori. She loves it too. Uh, let's see what. <laughs> let's see. Oh my God. What is it? Oh. Pour it out. It's jewelry. Oh my gosh, jewelry. Let me see what this says. Oh wow. Do you like it? It's very pretty. It says, big fan of the show, just wanted to show my appreciating hope your wife Lori and your daughter would like these bracelets. Oh, one for Jade. Sorry they're not reptile themed, but I figured that it'd be something a bit different. Uh, and it's Kit Marlowe. Thank you, these Kit. They're beautiful. Thank you so much. They're awesome. That's fantastic. Thank you, Kit. <laughs> Take a look at this. It's got a plane on it that says Air Canada. There's a uh, be careful <laughs> snakes. There's all kinds of writing on this. A baby it says Zeusy. there's a baby Zeus. Uh, <laughs> there's uh, all kinds of different things. Uh, this is oh my gosh! Look at a ton of other things. There's a cobra. There's again an airplane. So he likes airplanes. <laughs> I like airplanes artist. too. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh my gosh! Look at this. This is awesome. <gasps> Donald Duck. What what is this from? This is awesome. This is from. I love comics. So oh my gosh! Awesome. These look like old comics too. This is awesome. Another Donald Duck. I think that's awesome. Uh, more snakes here. This is this is cool, man. Thank you, uh, Brian. Wrote this. A big fan. Really appreciate. Inspire me. He's 11 years old, Braden. That's awesome. Well, I tell you what, Braden. You are obviously very artistic. Thank you for sending me this and keep your art going because it's absolutely amazing. I have no idea what this box is. Uh, this is from uh, Jackson Knight, and. We're gonna you go ahead. Really calm down with this knife. Okay, so so far it's a box full of paper towel. I have no we idea can what this use is. Paper towel. Oh my goodness. What? This is oh. awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is awesome. This is property of BHB reptiles on the side. Oh well, first off, look at this. We got some candy, <gasps> some milk. Oh chocolate. my god, those are my favorite. <laughs> I think those are for Lori. And it says, uh, don't, don't fear, fear respect. respect. That is um, awesome. But take a look at this. It's, a, it's like an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> There's a letter in here. This is to Brian from Jackson Knight. This is awesome, man. Jackson, thank you so much. This is awesome. This is, uh, it's just got a bunch of you know, stuff. Uh, hello, I know you uh, probably get a lot of these kinds of messages. I wanted to send you a letter of appreciation. My name is Jackson Knight. I'm your biggest fan. Uh, I really mean it. You've inspired me and so many others to get into the amazing hobby of keeping and sometimes even breeding reptiles. Has a leopard <laughs> gecko named Zeus. Uh, my family and I would like to thank you and your crew for what you do. And by the way, good job on the vlogs and snake bites. It's going well. And I love them. Once again, thank you for all you do. Sincerely, Jackson Knight. So Thank you, Jackson. This you is guys so are cool. awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> you know, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this mail time. Again, I'll respond to everyone else's letters and everything else like that. Uh, I always put our P.O. box in the description if you'd like to send us a letter or whatever. Uh, 
you guys are awesome. So, all right, uh, back to work. All right, guys, so we are gonna introduce you to the newest member of BHB. Her name is Tina, and I got her something, some rattlesnake eggs. Hey, Tina, Hi. welcome to the crew. Uh, these are rattlesnake eggs, check them out. They're pretty cool. Oh boy, cool. should I open it? Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work. That was a total flop. It almost worked. I knew not to look at it. <laughs> Let's try Steph, because that didn't work out well at all. So I'm going to try Steph. Have you ever seen rattlesnake eggs? I have not seen rattlesnake eggs. Oh, you got to check out these rattlesnake eggs. They're really cool. You got to look at them. Oh my God. I don't trust you. What do you mean? These oh my are cool. God. Oh! Jeez, this is terrible. When it worked on me, I looked at him. I was like up close to my face and I got freaked out. These two just, oh. I don't trust you. <laughs> it's like the worst packaging ever. <laughs> you know it's a fake. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and rattlesnakes don't even have eggs. They're live bears, so it doesn't even work. But I got suckered in. So that just tells you how gullible I am. I got freaked out by it, but no one else did. Ah, rodents should be good to go by now, so all I have to do is dump them out, get them on a cart, and start feeding. Certainly one of the funner part of my jobs is feeding snakes. You know, I can't think of a better way to spend my day than feeding a bunch of snakes. I mean, I've been feeding snakes since I was a kid and I still get excited about it every single time. And the fact that I haven't really fed a snake in about two weeks makes it all the better. I mean, I'm just having a blast watching these animals, you know, and just kind of reading their characteristics. One of the things I always talk about when it comes to reptiles, or really any animal for that matter, is reading the animals, to, you know, what they're trying to tell you. So, you know, this snake might grab it, this snake I've got to lay it down, this snake just gently takes it. Every snake is an individual. Every animal is an individual. I always say when people say, I don't know why my snake isn't doing what it's supposed to do. I always say the problem with snakes or any animal for that matter is they forgot to read the book, right? <laughs> so people that read books and think this is what animals are supposed to do. Animals don't read books, people. They're all individuals. So, so you got to make sure you read each individual animal, but uh, it's one of the part of the jobs I love more than anything. But you know, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. And you know, I always like to ask your guys' advice about pretty much everything. And, and usually you guys are great about it. I really do appreciate it. But this one has been something that's been on my mind for a while now. And I really want your honest opinion about this. Because what happens is that a lot of times people say, Brian, it's your channel, it's your vlog, you do what you want. But I really want to know something. You know, when I started the vlog channel, actually a year ago, but I was only vlogging once a week, then I went to five days a week, and it's only been about five and a half months or something like that that I've been doing seven days a week, which has been awesome, by the way. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. But you know, when I started it, it was kind of supposed to be a departure from my main channel, which is, of course, Snake Bites TV, and it was supposed to be more about my life and a little less about, like, just animals, right? Because, you know, Snake Bites is about animals and this channel is supposed to be like, hey, whatever I do, my other interests in life, my family, so like that. And, and sometimes I feel like I'm waving back and forth and the lines are getting a little blurred between what is the vlog and what is Snake Bites. So this is what's been on my mind and I want your honest opinion. And I don't want the comments like, hey, do what you want, Brian, we'll watch either way. I want your real honest opinion down in the comments. Let me know what you think. I want to make the vlog a little bit more about my family. You know, about Lori, about Noah, about my just daily life. And, and of course that means that we're working with animals and we're working with snakes and we're traveling and we're doing other things. But I want to know what you guys think about that. I, I you know, because I'm thinking about just kind of restructuring the way I do it and a little less about like me and the animals and me talking to you about the animals. That doesn't mean that every now and then I won't do that. But more importantly, about just what it's like to have a family that does something so unusual like breeding reptiles for a living and living that life so you 
you guys could see what it's like all the time. It'd be a little bit different for me because it means that I'd have to start filming early in the morning and, and film all the way through the night and interact with the family more. And I just want to know what you guys think about that. To me, I'm more excited about that prospect, but I want to make sure you guys are cool with it. And that way, we have the main channel that's snakes, and I'm always doing snakes and reptiles and stuff like that. But then we have this channel that usually is about reptiles and about our life as reptiles, but every now and then, maybe the family does something different. Maybe we go on a picnic, or maybe we go for a bike ride, or whatever the case is. I just want to know what you guys think. Is that something that I should do, or should I just stick with the format kind of like it is now? Please let me know, and don't check it out. Tell me the truth down in the comments. <laughs> So guys, I was literally just freaking out because I just spent the last hour looking for Bella. She was running around and she always like runs around and then just comes back and checks in with me. But for some reason she disappeared and I could not find her anywhere. I was literally starting to trip out like maybe she had gotten out. I mean, there was no way that she was gonna get away but I just couldn't find her. And it turns out that finally, I saw she was tucked in a little bit of a rack just kind of chilling out. Oh my gosh, Bella, you freaked me out so bad bad i tell you guys i was like flipping out and i just earlier today had a friend over and told him how if anything happened to bella it would crush me because i have the most emotional attachment to this reptile than any other animal i probably have ever had i mean she's just so amazing so thankfully bella's going back in her cage okay girl come on go up the top. oh there you go <laughs> well, guys, I tell you what, man, it's been a crazy, cool, long day. Uh, it is getting late here, so I think I'm going to shut the vlog down here today. And I really do want to know what you guys think about the whole family thing. I think that it's a direction I'd like to go in, but I really want to know from you guys. I want to make sure you guys are happy with my content and all that good stuff because your support means the world to me. So please have an amazing day. Remember to be kind to somebody today. Smash that like button and hit that notification bell. I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Aww.